Salivary gland, benign tumor recurrence. Why does it happen? I'm Dr. Bob Aklarion from Center for Advanced Parotid and Facial Nerve Surgery. It's a very important topic. Uh, tumors recur for a variety of reasons, right? But let's go through it. There's 15 different types of tumor, benign tumors that happen in the salivary glands. Pseudomorphic adenoma is the most common type at 72%. But there are other types, and all of the other types have their own different personalities. For example, Warthin's tumor tends to happen more often in smokers and tends to be multiples. So you can get one or two on each side or even more on each side, and you can have it on both sides at the same time. So that's a different character. And if someone is continuing to smoke, you do surgery and you take a portion of the product out and the tumor, they may recur again because they're continuing to smoke and that smoking is, is creating this tumor, right? But in case of the other tumors, the most common tumor being pleomorphic adenoma, the recurrence for pleomorphic adenoma usually has other reasons. And let's discuss that. Now, tumors in the product gland can happen to be superficial to the nerve branches. You can see the tumor here. They can be deep to the nerve and you can see the nerve going right over it. Or they can be wrapped around it. So you can see the nerve going into and coming out of the tumor, All right? So that relationship can exist in a primary tumor it can also exist in a recurrent tumor. Usually though, recurrent tumors are multiple. You can see multiple pieces of tumor all around, superficial or deep, or even wrapping around the nerve. And so that's a problem. And we wanna always do everything we can to prevent this from happening for our patients. The surgery is more challenging. You wanna do everything you can to try to not let this happen. So why does it happen? Well, pleomorphic adenomas are very odd. They are tumors that don't have a perfect capsule. So most tumors have a capsule surrounding it, a sheath, a covering. Pleomorphic adenomas do have a sheath covering, and I'll draw it in green. But this sheath, which is gray in this picture, is not perfect. And there are gaps in it. And from those gaps, you can have little bulges of tumor coming out, which can be challenging. You can see the tumor growing into the capsule, you can see tumors growing within the capsule. You can even have satellite tumors, little bulges of tumor outside of the tumor, main tumor itself. Fortunately, the satellites are rare. But as you're doing surgery, if as you're doing the surgery, you get too close and amputate a bulge or one of these, then that's gonna recur and turn into an independent tumor that grows in time. The satellites that are farther away potentially can grow back too. Fortunately, again, the satellites are rare. And so when you look at this, this is an animation of those little bulges, those little legs that are coming out. If when you're making the cut, you get too close, those little pieces that were cut can grow in time to become multiple new tumors, right? And that's why Recurrences of pleomorphic adenoma generally tend to be multiple in nature. So the best way to avoid that is to prevent it by doing the surgery more concisely with more precision, giving yourself room to get extra uh, healthy salivary tissue around it so that the tumor doesn't recur. And that comes with experience and, and expertise. If you find this information helpful, please like and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming along to try to help you along this journey. Stay well and let me know if I can be of any further help.